In this video, I'm showing 10 satisfying tricks and ideas that you can make in Roblox. So let's go! If you want a fast and easy way to get really satisfied, then this first trick is going to blow your mind. All you have to do is spawn a brick, click the on anchor button, turn on collisions, and stack the brick up to a really high point. Then when you press the run button, the bricks will all fall together, which is just satisfying. And the best thing about this trick is you can pretty much use it on anything. So to put it to the test, let's try using a larger structure like an old classic house, and repeat the same process. Bruh. The way it falls Loki reminds me of those sand videos that are all over the internet. But I'm not gonna lie, that's probably one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. But you know what else is more satisfying? This thing which looks like a loading screen. That's right people. I found this trick while scrolling on YouTube and I thought this needed to be in the video. So I didn't hesitate and began following the tutorial to cook up. Alright, so this idea does require some coding, but if you follow everything correctly, then you should have a nice circle that spins around like those light up mirrors from Ikea. And if you want it to be even better and be truly magical, then you can adjust the time to night so it stands out and shines in the dark. And if you want, you can even change the speed variable to make it spin faster. Just don't mistake this for a real Bruh. loading screen or you'll end up phoning your Wi-Fi provider for a refund. Now I have no idea how this works, but it's really satisfying and that is all that matters. But guys, it gets better. If you change the z-axis values and hit the run button, then you can make the circle move to create this satisfying corkscrew effect. You can even change its colours to make it look like some LED strip lights as it goes off into the horizon. You can even add another one and watch them both go into the horizon. They both spin so peacefully like, I feel like I can watch this all day and not get bored. <laughs> As of speaking, I currently have over 600,000 subscribers. If this one block was one subscriber, what would it look like if I gathered all my subscribers into one space? Well here's 10 subscribers, then 100, and then multiply that by 10 and you've got yourself 1000 subs. Here's 8000, 32000, then 64000, double that and we've got 128000, which would get you a silver play button. Here's 256000, so here's 512000, and here's my sub count into blocks. One of these cubes is you watching this video, and this is a million subscribers. Let me point out that each block is 1000 subs. I can't lie, the pattern at this scale is really satisfying. But you know what else is satisfying? Hitting that like button and also subscribing. I mean the whole purpose of this video is to be satisfied, so you may as well do it. This next trick only requires a few lines of code and it's also featured in one of the satisfying games I've shown previously. To make this all you need is just one script and to write these lines of code which is a continuous loop in spawning the bricks every millisecond. So if you hit the run button then you'll get tons of bricks spawning from the ground. Now this can be used for many things, like filling a glass box with myself inside. If you position the box correctly and seal it shut then you get this oddly satisfying effect that myself approves. We can also bring the classic house back to action and hit the run button. The balls will then spawn in the house until it becomes full, which we can use our first trick and then anchor the structure. I really like this trick, but there's a reason it's used in the lag test, so don't get too comfortable as it's only a matter of time before your PC is gonna explode. Time for a quick round. Here's four satisfying ideas which are quick and easy to build. If you put a trail onto a ball and move it around then you've got yourself a nice pen which you can use to pretty much write anything. Just increase the lifespan of the trail and you can write for as long as you want. Another trick is if you place a brick with collisions turned on and hold the duplicate button while moving the arrows you can create a really nice structure that looks like a lego tower. You can go crazy with the movements but going slow makes for a satisfying pattern. If you place a ball and scroll down to its custom properties and set the elasticity weight to 10 then you can create a bouncy ball. The crazy thing with these tricks is that there's no limit to how many bricks you can spawn. Like look how many balls are bouncing right now. You can also grab a spring and place in between the two blocks and then you've got yourself a satisfying spring mechanism. Nice. And for a final idea, you can create yourself a one-way window. If you simply adjust the transparency of a brick to 0.02 and place a glass brick inside with transparency above 0.6, you've made yourself a one-way window. This trick definitely breaks the system, but now I guess you can watch your friend with them having no idea they're being watched. Huh? 
Carrot rides do very well on Roblox for some reason. They're so peacefully satisfying despite the chaos, however there's Bruh. always an ending. And so for that reason, I've made an infinite cart ride which never ends. It consists of a drop but never actually goes uphill. Now this trick may be messing with your mind but it's kinda 200 IQ once you know how it works. If you spawn in some track models and align them into a square shape and then adjust the angles correctly then the illusion should come into play. Just make sure you don't move the camera or otherwise the illusion will lose its touch. GUIs play a huge role in operating most Roblox games, but I want to find out if you can make them very satisfying. So if I search an image of a new fed and copy its asset ID and paste it as a GUI button, and so when everything is operational the oof head should expand when it's clicked, which is kinda cool. This next one just questions my reality because what I'm seeing is just too good for my eyes. The squishy block acts and behaves like jello which is not only very cool but really shows what Roblox is capable of making. So this squishy block that holds before your eyes is a mechanism of over 30 cubes that consists of over 30 spring constraints so this therefore will give it squishy effect and very nice. Now you can do a lot with this squishy block. You can squish it, roll it, Drop it, drop it on a brick, drop two on a brick, drop itself four times and watch them all jiggle. You can even watch two of them race down a hill and watch all your problems disappear. The point is that no matter what you do with this little squishy block, it will always stay together. So yeah. I've always been fascinated by watching dominoes fall. There's something so oddly satisfying about them. So I want to make my favourite domino effect that I've always seen on YouTube since Roblox is great in physics. This exact trick is called the double domino effect and there's really no explanation needed. To do this trick you'll need to search the dimensions of a brick and spawn in a brick into its size. Then you can place the dominoes exactly the brick's length apart and increase the set as long as possible. And if you get all of that right then it should work like a charm with all the bricks coming down one after the other. Nice. Now if I'm being honest this final trick is probably the most satisfying one on the list but it does require the most steps. You'll firstly need three bricks with two of them being a start and an end point. Then grab a script and write these lines of codes as shown on the screen. Then you can add a trail to the final block and then when you hit the run button the most satisfying thing happens. Like look at them roll away. So cute. And the best thing about this trick is, you can move the end destination to anywhere you want and the projectile will move to there. And another cool thing you can do with this trick is that you can use it to actually make good trick shots. You can become do perfect basically. If you spawn in a basketball hoop and place the end destination brick inside the hoop, and if we turn the ball into a basketball mesh just for cosmetics, then we can do some very satisfying trick shots. Like this one, this one, this one, and this one. Guys, I'm a trick shot pro. You can't deny me. Well guys, that was 10 satisfying things that you can make. And yeah, this was my first proper video that I'm using my voice. So yeah, what do you think? Is it good? Tell me what to improve on. Yeah, okay, bye.